Jordan Peterson, a best-selling author, first started to fame by styling himself as a free speech fighter at the University of Toronto, where he teaches psychology. Opposing trans people's requests that he use their preferred pronouns. Peterson said in 2016, I don't recognize another person's right to determine what pronouns I use to address them. Next, he told the BBC, I've studied authoritarianism for a very long time, for 40 years, and they're started by people's attempts to control the ideological and linguistic territory. However Peterson's passion for boundless semantic territory only goes so far, it seems. In June, he threatened to sue down girl author and Cornell University assistant professor Kate Mann for defamation, after she criticized his book, Twelve Rules for Life, and more commonly called his work misogynistic in an interview with Vox. Earlier Peterson filed a lawsuit against a university whose faculty members, in a closed-door meeting, argued that showing his videos in a classroom created an unsafe environment for students. In letters to Mann, Cornell, and Vox, Peterson's lawyer, Howard Levitt, charged that all three parties immediately retract all of Professor Mann's defamatory statements, have them instantly removed from the Internet, and issue an apology in the same forum to Peterson. Levitt, not surprisingly, objected. There's a difference, he said in an email. Between academic debate and viciously libeling, P. Eterson, by referring to him as a misogynist, as dishonest, by impugning his honesty and integrity. Seeing the legal warning as an attempt to shut down the conversation, he maintained, would only encourage the radical left practitioners of identity politics to avoid such debate by castigating our client with libelous, false aspersions to avoid engaging in the constitutionally protected and desired, clash of ideas. The university seized on those comments when it requested a judge to drop the case last month, according to a statement printed in The Globe and Mail, there is inescapable irony in the fact that Peterson, who has come to prominence through vehement advocacy of free speech principles, is bringing a claim for the stated purpose of causing academics and administrators to be more circumspect in their words.